So years ago, my husband was in a very bad car accident. Um, he was sitting on 85 behind an 18 wheeler and um, in road work. So it, he was sitting there for quite a while. Um, this lady came up and plowed into the back of him, flipping his car around. Um, he hit, she hit him, he hit the guardrail, he hit the 18 wheeler in front of him. It was a horrible scene when um, I finally pulled up. Um, and my husband did not want to take a ambulance to the hospital so because he thought they'd end up taking him to one when he wanted to go to a different one so he um, had me drive him and to the um, to the emergency room and um, all I could sit there and think about was I could have lost my husband and Along with that, I was worried, okay, if, is he going to be okay, but is the girl going to be okay that ran into him? Um, because she had told the police officer, she had told him that she was on her cell phone and how, how sorry that she was. Um, so, you know, I, I did a post on Facebook about the car accident, but then it also hit me. What if this didn't have anything to do with my husband? What if my husband was placed there? to spare that lady's life because she she did not see the accident until right before it happened because she was on her cell phone. Is it a possibility that God spared her using my husband so that she would not end up under that 18-wheeler? So it just goes to, to show that there are times that we go through these things, whether trials, tribulations, good things, bad things. There are things that we go through that have nothing to do with us except for that we needed to be somewhere at a certain time to prevent something else from happening. And I believe that that is what this was. As hard as this was for my husband to come back from, for the pain that it had caused in his back, because it really messed up his back, um, which he's still having pain all these years later in it, could he have been used to prevent that lady from dying that night? She was on her cell phone. She could have very easily ended up under the 18 wheeler. Is it possible? And I believe that it is. I do believe that my husband was used that night to prevent that lady from, from dying. I really do. Cause she was able to walk away from that car accident. So it is, you know, we could be bitter. We could be mad at God for allowing this to happen. But if we take a step back and we really see this might not be about us, then we can see that God has a bigger picture. And God knew by him going to the gym that night, he knew before he even headed out to the gym, he knew that that was going to happen. And I believe that he was placed there to prevent something worse. So if you're going through something, no matter how hard it is, understand that God has a perfect plan. And sometimes it's about us. And sometimes it might be about something bigger, something greater, something that, yes, he's using us in, but sometimes we are just a place setter. We are just a blockade. We are just a body where he needs a body to be or a car where he needs a car to be or a shoulder for someone who needs the shoulder to cry on. Sometimes it's not about us and we need to step back and take a look at things to where Look at them through our spiritual eyes instead of our fleshly eyes and see it might not always be about us, but it might very well have to do with somebody else.